Hi Julian, I'm Kasia. Yeah, hi Kasia. Uh, welcome to our conference. Uh, okay. We're very excited to have you. Yeah. Uh, so Julian is from a company called SmartChem. They're doing some uh, very exciting work on uh, organic materials. Uh, so would you like to explain briefly what you do and then uh, I'll ask you some technical questions. Uh, what I do? Well, well SmartChem uh, firstly uh, makes high performance uh, uh, organic materials uh, specifically for organic thin film transistors. Um, so this is uh, technology um, that was developed uh, originally um, by uh, Avisha uh, um, in the uh, late 90s, 2000, and then SmartChem have taken it, it further and developed um, some unique uh, molecules and formulations that uh, achieve quite standing performance for organic materials, uh, both in terms of the key metrics of mobility, on-off ratio, threshold voltage and also by stressability. So, so we believe that these materials are now um, uh, ready to uh, uh, be used uh, and make, uh, make uh, products uh, such as uh, OLED uh, active matrix uh, uh, displays and sensors. And uh, you know, the key attributes uh, really are the um, low process temperatures, uh, their solution processed uh, materials, um, and uh, and they can be um, integrated into uh, existing manufacturing processes, so there's no big uh, capital expenditure to, to use these materials. So, uh, organic TFTs have been around for some time, and uh, commercially they haven't been very successful. Why do you think that is, and do you think you bring something new to the table mm. that well, others I, didn't? Well, I think the, the thing is, it's, it's, it's all well and good um, demonstrating, you know, say high mobility from these materials but what you actually have to put together is a, is a package um, that allows um, somebody who wants to use them for real um, to uh, to um, to implement them uh, on their on their processing line and 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 once you start doing that you find that uh, maybe you didn't have everything uh, nailed you know you didn't have the bias stress stability you didn't have the usability of the materials so I think it's uh, bringing all of those aspects that um, that you need to, to kind of integrate to, to, to create a usable product. And I think that's what probably distinguishes uh, SmartChem from, uh, uh, you know, maybe some of the, um, you know, kind of uh, headline kind of performance that you see in some of the technical um, publications. So what is the first market? Well, def 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 definitely um, uh, what's been driving initially um, uh, the development and uh, some of the specifications was the um, OLED um, uh, active matrix displays, but that's a very difficult uh, market, and we see that there are probably some earlier um, uh, sort of lower barrier um, entry points uh, in uh, distributed uh, sensor uh, applications. Uh, and how do you see the threat of metal oxides? You know, technologies like EXO and so on that have a have a relatively high mobility; they can be processed at uh, room temperature or slightly higher temperatures on. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, IGSO, IGSO is a threat. I mean, there are definitely issues uh, of IGSO around bias stress stability, and, and I'm sure with some work that will be sorted out. Um, you know, one key differentiator is that, that uh, the organic materials are, are truly flexible. You know, they do not, um, you know, you can withstand very high strain, um, and they, they won't crack, um, and, uh, and therefore you can, you can use, you know, quite you know, relatively thick um, plastic substrates, which you probably couldn't use right now with the IGSO offerings. Yeah. Great, well thanks Julian. Great. Thanks for the information and the interview. Okay. Thanks.